Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a dupe that I'm really excited about. And I'm going to talk about some skincare I'm testing out. This is not a review on it. I purchase everything myself too, by the way. Not that it matters because you guys know I keep it real. But just some skincare that I'm testing out, a mascara too. So we're going to talk about that in this video. So let's get right into it. So I am not a believer in dupes for the most part because I feel like every single time somebody shares a dupe it's either something that I don't know it just never works like there so many people are like there's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury flawless powder no there isn't I've tried it no I've tried a couple I tried a couple of them and, and it's a no for me um there's been lipstick dupes there's just been different dupes and every time I I try it it's like it's not the same okay <sighs> This is the first dupe that I will tell you that if you enjoy this particular item, you're going to want to buy this because you're going to save a lot of money. I love the Bum Bum Cream. Love the Bum Bum Cream. Not, it's not everybody's thing, I know. Not everybody likes the scent of it, but I freaking love it because it's kind of like vanilla, pineapple kind of a scent. It just smells freaking amazing. I love that, but I don't buy it all the time because it's just expensive, okay? This is from, um, this is from Tree Hut. I've been using their, their body scrubs off and on for the last couple years, and I'm, I'm going to talk about a scrub too. So I've been using that off and on for a couple years now, and so I went to Ulta. They do sell this brand at Target. I don't know if they have this particular scent, and I will try to link it below for you guys too in case you can't find it, okay? Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I think this retails for like $8.99, and I think the Bum Bum Cream is like $45. This stuff's freaking amazing, okay? Now, the Bum Bum Cream claims that because I have caffeine, it's supposed to be firming. Come on. Come on. Stop it. No, that's not why I used it. There is no firming that's going to be going on in my body, okay? Especially the cream, but it smells amazing. So, this is it. This is what it looks like. Now this one is whipped. So the consistency on this is different. This this is a whipped consistency, kind of a heavy whip. I'll show you in a second. Where the Bum Bum Cream is kind of like a pudding. I feel like it's like a pudding. You almost want to eat it. Well, you almost want to eat this too because it smells amazing. It smells exactly like the Bum Bum Cream. So if you were buying the Bum Bum Cream because you like the scent of it, you're going to freaking love this. You are going to freaking love it. It's exact same thing. Exact exact i'm not kidding you okay so when you press it it's kind of weird it's kind of feels spongy or weird i don't know but it still goes on really really nicely oh my god it smells wonderful it smells wonderful i've been using this after i get out of the shower i freaking love it if you like the bum bum cream there you go my first real dupe. I almost feel like I need to have confetti and stuff because you guys know <laughs> most, most dupes are BS. This one is real. The other thing is this. This is the scrub. Smells just like it. It smells freaking amazing. I don't know. Does the Bum Bum, do they have a scrub? I don't know if they have a scrub, but they have a scrub in this girl. So I've been using the scrub, not every night, but I use it a couple times a week. And then I use this. Girl, it's good. It just, oh my god, I just love this scent. I love this scent. And it's a nice scrub. I, this, I don't know why, but I feel like this scrub lasts longer than the scrubs I've tried before. I know it sounds weird, but I feel like it does. I feel like this lasts longer. Like a jar of it lasts longer for me than most scrubs. I don't know. But definitely more affordable than the Bum Bum Cream. So, if you want to do for that girl, you got it. It's good. There's a lot of stuff that's on TikTok that's overhyped. Girl, I don't believe the hype, but a couple times I got suckered into some stuff, and it's like, come on, really? This sucks, okay? Here we go. So Glow Recipe is just glowing, blowing up on, Inst on, on TikTok right now. So there's this woman, she puts it on, her skin looks amazing, she has glowy skin. It's like, yeah, because it's what freaking skincare. Of course it looks amazing, okay? <laughs> So I put it out there, I made a video, and I said, I just don't understand it. Her skin looks amazing, but I mean, I want to know, like, nobody's, like, people put it on, this is a, this is what they do. They'll put it on, I'll pretend I have it. Mm. 
Oh my gosh, you guys gotta get this up. This stuff is amazing. You need it now. Go get it now. Go to Ulta, go to Sephora, go to wherever you need. You need to get this now. You need it. Look at that. Look at the glow. Oh my God, you need it now. It's like, please. You know what I mean? It's freaking skincare, okay? All skincare is going to give you a damn glow, okay? But then in the comments, people are like, well, I have 55 year old skin and it looks good. But I'm like, really? All right. So I bought it. And yes, I did. I bought the toner. I bought the niacinamide. I bought the mask. A mini version and I got the ever so popular dew drops and no I didn't get any of it on sale I know Sephora is gonna have their sale but I was just like whatever so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about all these but this is not a review because I'm going to use these for a while and then I'm going to update you guys okay so this is kind of like a mini review but not really okay kind of my thoughts on it so far so the toner this is the toner I don't have all the ingredients in front of me but I'm just gonna tell you what it says so this is the watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner it's hydrating pore refining so this is what it looks like so it looks like and then on the top here it looks like you know, it's got the little thing there so it's not like an open jar you do have that little hole so you're not gonna pour it all on your hand okay I don't really like the scent of their stuff. I know a lot of people like that. Um, it just smells like fake watermelon to me. I used their hydrating spray. I never repurchased it because I didn't get the hype on it. I thought it was okay. I just didn't think it was anything amazing. So far, I like it. Do, do I feel like it's tightening my pores? No, I don't. But I just started using it. I'm going to keep using it, and I will let you know. But when you put this on, it does seem like you have a nice glow to your face. I'm trying to see. My chest doesn't have it as much. Maybe I didn't put it on there as much um, today. Because I had it on there yesterday and was, my chest was very shiny. Or my decollete was very shiny. Um, so I just put a little bit on and I put it on my face and my neck. Okay? But I'm not noticing tight pores right now, but I'll keep using it. Okay? And this is the dew drops. This is the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops. Okay, this one's a niacinamide. This must be the hyaluronic acid. So I said that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, that's what happens when you don't have your glasses on. So this is the niacinamide drops. So it looks like this. And it's got this little pump here. And the consistency I'll show you looks like that. Pink. And it glides in. And you'll see my hand's going to look shiny. Um, again, you have that scent. The scent is different in this, though, than the toner. I feel like it's not as bad. In this one, it's, the scent isn't as bad to me. But it does give you that shiny, see how your skin looks shiny. Okay. And then we have the Hyaluronic. And this one is the Plump, Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Deep hydration and glow. Again, cap. Just gonna do a pump this one is clear and then just apply it like that so you see how your skin look can look shiny and it does if you don't put your if you don't put like makeup on top of it it looks shiny okay you have shiny glowy skin I know I have glowy skin today but I have oily skin so keep that in mind okay and I have makeup on I don't think it's because of skincare underneath and then I bought the mask uh, the glow mask sleeping mask and it looks like this oh gosh And the scent is okay. I almost feel like I smell alcohol in it. So again, I started using this, but I don't feel like the toner. I don't feel like my pores look tighter. Okay, but I'm going to keep using it. Um, I've been using niacinamide. I like it. I think it's nice. Um, I want to use it all the way up and see how I you know, feel about it after I use it for a while, okay? Like, how is it interacting with my foundation? Because here's the thing, I'm using, I'm wearing my Luminous foundation. I am wearing a different um, primer today, but I do feel like I am, it doesn't seem like it on camera, but in person I feel like I'm kind of a little more shiny down here and stuff. So that's why I want to try it for a while, because I really want to pay attention to how it is with my under my makeup. I think people were saying about this one, the niacinamide, as a like a primer, and I didn't like it as a primer because it broke up all of my makeup. It did not work at all. I tried it a couple times. It didn't work for me. 
So that's why I want to test it because people put that stuff out there and like, oh, I just put it in my foundation. Well, I've tried a couple times and it doesn't work for me like that. You know what I mean? So if I specifically was just somebody watching videos and I saw that and I bought it, I'd be pissed off because I'd be like, well, I thought this was good as a primer. And it's not good as a primer. It depend, might depend on your skin. It could depend on the sunscreen you're using under it. Could, could depend on how you're applying it. Found it and you, a lot of things could come into play with that. You know what I mean? And this, I don't know. I just, I, I tried this the other day and I actually used this this morning. I do think it's nice. I think the mask is nice. I don't care for the scent of it or anything. You can sleep with this on, by the way, too. You can either sleep with it on or you can just do it as a mask and then rinse it off. So I just want to see how it is. As far as fragrance, I've talked to you guys, I feel like, not too long ago. Fragrance doesn't bother me. If you have sensitive skin, you've got to stay away from fragrance. So if you have sensitive skin, don't use fragrance products because you're just going to have irritated skin. I don't have that. I always thought I had sensitive skin, and maybe I did at one time, but I don't feel like it's sensitive now. So I, anything scented doesn't bother me right now, unless I don't like the scent of it. It hasn't been bothering me. But it's not like I'm using these and I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys have to buy it. I just feel like every time stuff is overhyped. I mean, this is, this needs to be overhyped because if you like the bubble cream, it smells exactly like it. You're going to save money. Okay. But like the skincare is okay, but I'm not like, I don't think it's amazing. But I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep using it. And if I decide, like, you know what? I've been using it for a while. I think I'm going to keep using it. I'll let you know. Right now, I just feel like I just need to use it for a while and really decide. And the last thing I want to talk about is this. So I decided to get this because somebody, again, came up on my feed. She was talking about mascaras. But she said, this is my holy grail. This is the one I use all the time. So I thought, I'm going to give it a try. It's nothing new. And um, there's other mascaras I'm trying that I like. But I'm always going to try new stuff on here, you guys. I'm always going to try new stuff. I want to try some other concealers, even though I have my Holy Grail. I'm always going to try new products. So this is from Benefit. This is the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. And I just got the little sample size. So I'm like, I like when companies do that. I wish more companies would do that, even with foundation. So you could test it out and see if you like it first. You know what I mean? I love when companies do this because then... Before you put both feet in, you can kind of test the waters. You know what I'm saying? So the wand looks like this. Um, it is wobbly, but it's not It's not like that stupid-ass mascara. Because it's easy to get in and out, and I appreciate that. Because I freaking hated that one. That The telescope one would have been nice, because formula was great if it wasn't for you couldn't get the wand in there. So this one is nice. And I'm wearing it today. I think it's pretty nice. What do you think? Do I have my lashes look? I mean, I don't have my false lashes on. I think it looks pretty good. So far, I'm not noticing it transfer. Nope. I'm not noticing it transfer, and I'm not noticing any flakes yet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. would really appreciate it if you would share it. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel too. I share new videos every single week. Just click that button below, hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all the socials. And I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Hey, it's a, uh, you know, no. It's, it's, so I am not a, why do I look, here, let me go over here, okay.